little boy. Well, welcome to the Camp Wound Dog Workshop. It's getting ready to uh, assemble Dan Kehoe's 316T lantern, and I realized I was all out of bales and handles, so I had to make I got to make some up uh, for Father's Day and my up and coming 70th birthday. My kids all pitched in to buy me an oxyacetylene torch setup, which was really nice. Um, I kind of wish they had done it voluntarily, but I threatened to cut them out of the will if they didn't kick in, so I, <laughs> so I got it. This is the jig I use for making the uh, bale handles. I used to do it with my propane torch, and it would take all day to build one because it takes so long to heat up. But with the oxyacetylene setup, it heats up really quick, and I can knock these guys out pretty well. This is a jig set up for uh, bending the, the steel rod into the correct shape. So I'm just going to kind of go through this. I don't know how this video is going to come out with all the noise and everything, but you have to be really careful when applying the heat because with the oxy or something, you end up heating and actually melt the steel rod. So you just want to get it red, red, cherry red so it's nice and soft, and then you can bend it to shape. Now I put these pins in as I go to get the correct shape of the, of the rod. It took me quite a while to figure out exactly how to do this thing. And I, I, I set up a couple different jigs. This is the one that worked best. To get this uh, arch nice and uniform, I had to make something that I could bend the tube around. And this is the bottom from the 220, a dead 220. I had to skinny it out a little and weld it back together. And the whole trick on this is to not apply too much heat. So this can go south on you really quick. I'm absolutely tickled to have this oxy set up. I haven't had one for about, yikes, yeah, almost 30 years. And I forgot how handy they are for all kinds of stuff. There's about 50 different things I'm going to be able to use this for in the shop here. Alright, so that gives me that half of the arc. Now obviously, you know, you can burn yourself pretty good using this thing or set your house on fire, so you gotta be careful. Make sure your dog's you not know, begging food. Set him on fire.
It actually took me about four tries to figure out the exact heat and how to heat the thing. This whole lantern project is pretty much an exper a series of experiments to get it right. A little too much heat on that. It'll be okay though. When I get all these guys done, I gotta acid dip them just to get some the scale off, the oxidized scale off. Then give them a quick buff and <coughs> throw them in the uh, <coughs> pardon me plating tank. Now the legs are going to be a little bit long when I finish, <coughs> but I'll trim them before I plate. And I need the extra length to keep the steel rod manageable. hot you stinking dirty dog out all right there we go that's it I'm not gonna pull it out because it's real hot right now but it's gonna look something like this gets whacked off here and here this is an original what the heck this is an original uh, pretty stinking close I gotta turn some wooden handles but uh, I'm making about nine of these today, so I'll be able to continue production on the 316 T's without interruption. All right, that's it, boys and girls. You have a good day. Don't let anybody cough on you, because you'll die. All right, goodbye.